This was one of the toughest. I haven't done messages for a while, but this is one of the toughest ones I think I ever did uh, for the fact that it is hard to uh, give God his due in th thankfulness, you know, for what all he's done. And uh, it's also hard for me because when I do this message, I see how miserably I failed at my own message. You know, I see uh, what I'm calling you to do or ask you to do with me is definitely with me because I, I haven't done so well. If we could, if we could, you know, kind of condense it a little bit, deny self, Take up your cross daily, follow, give up the desires of the flesh, and be filled with one, ones of Christ. Deny self, take up the cross daily, follow, give up the desires of the flesh, and be filled with ones of Christ. It's, here's words of action. Daily, follow, be filled. Again, it's continuing. It's seeing it beyond the present. It's seeing it beyond thankful for the past, the present, but even being thankful for the future because God has everything in control. It doesn't seem like it. it's a rough road, but even He has the things in control that we can't see. Be filled. Follow daily. The most important part of thanks to Christ in these verses is that they're ongoing. That's the, that's the best thing of it. Thankfulness for Jesus is more than a one and done act of gratitude. As we move and grow in our salvation, so does continued grace. I mean, it's amazing. You know, it's humbling. His sacrifice covered sins that we haven't even committed yet. That didn't mean go ahead and do them because He knows we're going to do it anyway. That's not saying that at all. But he's all, his, his sacrifice paid for those sins in advance. Now, isn't that amazing? Not only did he pay for it, he paid up front all the way, in the, you know, all the way in the future or to our grandkids that haven't even been born yet for some of us. You know, that's, that's something, you know, that's how complete, that's how complete uh, his sacrifice was. Our born again life in Christ is always or should be moving forward in spiritual growth, taking on more and more of his likeness. Again, part of our thankfulness is, is, is living, you know, uh, practicing what you preach, so to speak, I guess you could say that, but living it, living what we say we believe in, you know, that's continual thankfulness, because he's continually in control. And with this lightness or love for him, it's not just, you know, uh, it, it's, it, it's not just, a, again, a one and done gratitude. It's a never ending, eternal gratitude in every step of our walk while we're here, as we're, 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 we're blessed to be witnesses on earth. That's a blessing to be a witness of God to this earth. You know, even as as corrupt and, and flawed as we are, that we can still be a witness on this earth for the truth, the, the, the real true God, the true way. So, uh, a thought, to th things to think about, you know, but again, uh, denying self, taking up our cross daily, follow, give up the desires of the flesh, and be refilled with the ones of Christ. These words of action here, I think, uh, you know, if Kevin introduced it, saying we need to take uh, take this out and apply it. I think if we apply these these simple simple things to our life, uh, we can see we can see growth. We're we gonna be perfect? Nope. Are we gonna get it right out of the gate? No, we're not. But it's something we need to continually work on.